Hi, I'm Margaret, and I'm a library assistant at the Lincoln Public Library in Beamsville. This is our second episode of Hangout. So I want to shout out to all my Hangout people. Hope everyone's doing well. You might be wondering, what is Hangout? Well, Hangout is a program that runs every Thursday afternoon at the Fleming Branch. We set out laptops. I have a table of recommended books. And we usually have a theme or an activity. So we are meeting virtually now. So our theme for this week is Harry Potter. Harry Potter is one of my most favorite book series. So what I'll be doing for this particular episode, we're going to look at different uh, sites that are out there with different Harry Potter activities. We'll even do a craft and maybe possibly a spell. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first Harry Potter site that I'd like to share with you is the Hogwarts Digital Escape Room. And this has been created by Miss Sydney at the Peters Township Public Library. I'd like to give her a huge thank you for sharing this awesome escape room with us. So when you get to this page, all you do is you scroll down until you see the word next. And then click right on top of that. And this is where your adventure begins. It says, welcome to Hogwarts. It is your first year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. And you cannot be more excited. You were just sorted into your dream house and you had dinner with your new classmates. It is time to head back to the common room and get to know your roommates. As you head into the cozy room, the house prefect announces that you have a fun team building activity to complete before you get too settled into your new digs. The house prefect tells you about a new muggle trend where they lock themselves in rooms and have to answer puzzles to get out. No magic at all. Next thing you know, the room is completely dark and you hear a door slam. And now your adventure begins. So I highly recommend this per perfect site. And thanks again to Miss Sydney at the Peters Township Library for offering it to us. The next site I want to show you is the official Harry Potter fan club. And you just have to Google that. And this site is awesome. It offers so much. It is truly magical. So in order to access the club, you just left click on join the fan club. But again, before you join any club, always ask a parent or guardian. So I have joined the club. And what happens, it opens up to your wizarding passport. When you join, you will actually go through a sorting hat ceremony. So I'll ask you a bunch of different questions and I end up in Gryffindor. I am so excited. I just, oh, I'm just, over the moon because I love Gryffindor and I'm in there. Yay. Um, to access some of the quizzes and different craft ideas, just left click on the home button. And from here, it will take you to this page right now. JK Rowling has um, introduced Harry Potter at home. So fantastic for this time when everybody is at home wondering what to do. There is so much on this site. You will not be bored. Not only is there introducing Harry Potter at home, but if you notice here, there's these three lines. If you click on the sideboard, a side menu, you'll see there's going to be news and features. There's quizzes, there's house pride, all sorts of cool things. When you click on quizzes, you will see, you'll get the latest and greatest, and you will see like the witch witch quiz and other fantastic ones, the ultimate food quiz, the magic gone wrong quiz, and so much more. This site, I highly recommend, and thanks again to JK Rowling for offering this to us at this time. The next site I recommend is the Harry Potter name generator, and that is harrypotter.bloomsbury.com. And these sites are so much fun. So what you do is you type in your first name and last name, 
and then click on make my name and I am Madam Rosemurda Dumbledore. Yay! To make a wand, you'll need a wooden dowel, some string, scissors to cut the string, some paint, I've used acrylic brown, and a hot glue gun. Put some hot glue at the bottom of your dowel and start wrapping your string around your wooden dowel. Not all the way, about part way through. And you can make a pattern. You can twist it around, you can overlap it. Just so you get, I recommend to get some more string at the very bottom. When you're done, just put some glue and just to secure it and put a little dab of glue at the bottom. <laughs> to make your decorative uh, wand to look more, give to more character, just use hot glue and dab it all around and you can make squiggles. That's what it looks like. Just let it cool for a little bit. The next part, once your hot glue is dry, just grab some paint, brown acrylic, and just paint your wand. And you'll see it start to come to life. Make sure you cover the whole stick. And this will take some time to dry. Sometimes you'll need one or, one or two coats, depending. If you don't have a wooden dowel, you can always go outside and pick up a stick. Put, do the same process, put a little bit of glue at the bottom and just start wrapping it around to about halfway up to get that very cool, magical looking wand. Once you're done, make sure you secure it with a little bit of hot glue. And then you're done. It's spell time! We're going to try and make this egg levitate. How are we going to do that? We need a glass of water. So what do you think will happen when we put the egg into the water? Hmm, let's see and find out. It sinks. So how are we going to do this? Let's pull the egg out of the glass and there we go and we're going to grab our magic wand that we made in the last clip and we're going to say Wingardia Leviosa remember swish and flick so Wingardia Leviosa now we're going to take our glass of water over here and I've already added something special I've added some magical salt. It takes about five tablespoons. Do you think it's going to sink or it's going to float? Hmm. Let's see and find out. And there you have it. The egg is now floating thanks to our spell. Or is it science? Hmm. Let's find well, it is science. If you put an egg in a cup of water, it will sink to the bottom. Why is this? Because of the density of the egg is higher than the density of the tap water, so it sinks. Density is the mass of a, of a material per unit volume. For example, the density of fresh water under normal conditions is approximately one gram per cubic centimeter. But if you add enough salt to the water, the egg will float back up to the surface. Adding salt to the water increases the density of the, of the solution because the salt increases the mass without changing the volume very much. When enough salt is added to the water, the salt water solution density becomes higher than the eggs, so the egg will then float. The ability of something like an egg to float in water or some other liquid is known as buoyancy. So not quite the Wingardium Liviosa, but science. 
So that's it for this week's episode of Harry Potter. So again, I'd like to say another shout out to all my Hangout people, and we'll see you next week. Bye.